Hello and welcome to another episode of me painting again. Oh yeah, we're painting again and uh, I've got my uh, Lightly gear out again. The um, watercolour set of paints. And then I'm going to blob some gouache in a few of these areas because I'm going to have a go at painting this boat that I uh, took a photo of when I was out walking. And uh, I really liked it and I haven't got around to painting it thought to myself, today, today is the day. So I'm going to put a few gouache out, a few red, a bit of this red. Red is this. This is out of the Windsor & Newton set. I got a Windsor & Newton gouache set. Spectrum red. It's quite nice, actually. But it's got a bit of a t bluish, purpley tint. So I'll use some of this Horodam, Horodam gouache. Um a version of violet which I can't say <laughs> I like this color actually it's the one tube of paint that I bought when I went to London and it's really nice color it must be a really good oh it's a schmink must be a good uh, make anyway Windsor & Newton's a good make they're a good make as well Um, I've got some white gouache there I might do another pool in here maybe you could see that hopefully you could what I need to do is <laughs> try and not move stuff because when I'm painting I start moving everything and then uh, might go out of shot I don't want to do that so here we go let's have a go at getting this um, in somehow <laughs> I've not really painted out um, quite as challenging as this on camera yet. This is the reason why I think this is challenging is because there's a, it's a bit more, of, um, a bit more of a shape there, a bit more to go on, to work on. It's quite dark as well, isn't it? Except the light of the boat and the reflected light, and the, the light catching on this boy here. It was actually really late in the sun, um, sunset. And uh, the sun's catching this boat so nice. I was like, I'll quickly take a photo. And uh, it came out a bit weird. <laughs> but I like it. It's, it's got a lot of mood to it. And this old boat is, looks like it's seen some time. So let's... Uh, I'll just stick it there. Before I... I know what I did before I taped it to the... Uh, I think I'll do that, but I need to use this quite a lot because of the size and things. So I'll just keep moving it aside for now. Because I want to uh, try and get the uh, the size of this boat right. So I'll use a, a little bit of blue and a little bit of lavender. doesn't really matter. You could draw this, get a ruler out and draw the outline. It might be easier actually. Uh, but for now, I'm just going to uh, pretend that I can paint this. <laughs> I, I believe. Look at the look, look at this. Uh, this oops, no, everything's out of place now. But watch this. This is some little trick that I do. So you you put your paint in there. I mean your picture, and then you go. Oh, there's a mark. And then. Um, Obviously, you'd need to wait for that to dry for it to work again. But is it a way of getting it started? <laughs> and uh, so, if you want to line it up in, on your canvas and stuff. So, this is. Let's have a look. So I'll use my brush as a measuring device. It's about this long. Just to about here. So that's our um, base. I'm going to get a bit of tape and I'm going to tape this picture up. And because now I've got my baseline, I can uh, wing it a bit. Just gonna stick this picture up for a minute. Just 
so I can see the overall shape. So something I find when I'm painting lines, anyway, I need to uh, towards me. So then I can go. I can use the line of the paper and sort of run my finger down it like this, and you should get a fairly good line. Let's have a look. That's not bad actually. And then uh, this goes up here. Something like that. Beep. That's about right. And this goes up like that. I think I might put in that shape of the boat as well. That. I don't know any of the names of uh, boat parts. <laughs> So, bear with me, I think this is about there, it goes, something like that. That's not, doesn't look too bad. And then, uh, so what I'm thinking, is I'm um, thinking it's probably best for me to paint the boat first and then put the background in. Hmm. Then again, I don't know about that. Hmm. You gotta work it out. So I'm working this out as I'm painting it. Sort of that angle. It goes straight. My fingers to do the measuring. <coughs> and the line here um, is sort of this angle, quite a bright angle. Just making sure that I've got things about right. And that was the This then goes that, and this is on top, and then this like material that's covering that goes there. Some sort of a, a material, and then we can stop. Putting in things like the window shape. The window is along here. I think when you start putting in things like the window, you start realizing how wrong you are. <laughs> but we're not. We're not too bad. We're not too bad. Not too bad. Because it's a painting and not a uh, a detailed drawing, we can let ourselves get away with a few bits. That's what I tell myself anyway. Just need to get this shape. I tell myself, it's just, you know, an impression of what you see. <laughs> That's if it looks rubbish. And then if it looks really good, and everyone's like, wow, that looks amazing. Yeah, yeah, that's the way I like to do it. I always like to get it to look just like the item. <laughs> <laughs> uh, window in the front and a bit more darkness. A bit more darkness there. Uh, start 
taking shape a little bit. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm, mm -hmm. It's good fun painting is, isn't it? I really, really enjoy it. <laughs> I do. It's one of my favourite things ever. If I could turn painting into my number one job, that's what I would do. I've really been uh, focusing hard on my artwork for the last, well, a while. <laughs> it's such a hard thing to get good at, isn't it? You're always trying to get better, always trying to improve, and uh, there's always people that you see and you admire that have been at it probably a bit longer, and they're probably uh, a little ahead in the uh, experience race. <laughs> it's a funny thing to think about, really. Because that's all it is, isn't it? A race against experience. The more painting somebody's done, chances are the better they are than you. Hmm. So we've got a boat. We've got a boat in the water. Yay. This is the end of the episode. <laughs> yeah. That does help me loads though, that initial structure. So we've got to think about this now. Um, the background, it was quite bluey grey, I'd say. So I'm going to get a little bit of the black wash out. A few people are going to have mini heart attacks when they see the black. <laughs> oh no! Black! It's poison! So I'll make a bit of this blue and let's have a look. Because we're going to do a lot of our colours opaquely on top of this, so... We can, uh... Have a bit of fun when we colour in. Here we go. So we'll have that to about there. We need some more blue, really. A bit more of the ultramarine blue. And, uh... Black, ultramarine blue and black, and a little bit of the uh, reddish, just to take the edge off the uh, blue, really. Let's look at that, that's a bit better. A bit darker. I just noticed it goes into like a red down here, so I'm gonna do that bit while it's still wet, so we get a nice bit of a gradient there. So there's various ways that you can paint this picture. This is just one way. It's just the way that I'm doing it. And uh, But you could do it in different ways. I don't want you to think this is the only way. So I'm just really looking at Darken in this background. Probably going to go. Uh, it's probably going to be a bit darker than the photo. I 
run out of black in my uh, mixture. <laughs> Put a little more in. So since I've been doing this uh, way of painting, I've been able to get a lot of my photos that I took and I thought, oh, I'm not going to be able to paint that because I have to wait for all the layers to dry in oil. And don't get me wrong, I enjoy oil painting. But I also enjoy getting things down quick as well, like this. Just getting the uh, idea down quick and being able to mess around a little bit. <laughs> Because it's, uh, it's, it's a lot of fun, painting is, it's, it really is, and uh, if I can do it more, then I will. <laughs> I know not everyone likes uh, painting in gouache and watercolour, and uh, not everyone likes painting in oils, you know. Not <laughs> Some people just prefer acrylics, we all like our different way of painting. Uh, but this, because I, I like painting outside, I thought well, I really need to get good at this because the light changes so fast and I like the idea of a small setup to go outside with rather than taking my wooden easel and things. Not that I don't want to do that as well. Because <laughs> I do. I would like to get out and about with my easel as well. But you know, I can do so much. So we're getting getting somewhere. I need this to be at least at least a little bit higher than what it is actually because there's some Maybe they're like bait poles or something that would have. I don't know what it is, I'll try. There's a pole with a cross on it. I'm assuming you'd have bait on it, or. I don't know. Don't know what it is. <laughs> it's definitely something. Oh no. Just gone into this red. Oh well, we'll use this in the water. <laughs> in the water. Whole oh, thing's water. I mean, in the base part. So, find this bin. As you know, this to me is like an underpaint. Oops. Yikes. I mean, I wanted to go into some red, but not that much. Do the, get the underpainting, get the idea done, and then we can. Uh, Start enjoying ourselves. <laughs> or start realizing, oh no, it's all wrong. We've done it all wrong. Need to start again. I used to have, um, I used to worry a lot. When I used to paint, I used to worry so much. That worry's gone now. I don't tend to worry when I paint anymore. I just think to myself that no matter what happens, it's always fixable. 
Actually, what helped me a lot with that mentality is when I was teaching classes and and some someone would mess the picture up or they would do something that would uh, make the oil paint react badly. <laughs> Like a brush filled with uh, paint thinner, Shh, straight across your picture. Oh no, what have I done? And then you got to fix it for them. <laughs> I remember doing that. I was, I just, it just makes you better. Teaching makes you better. Let's have a look at this. I've got my screen next to me, um, so I can sort of lean back and have a look at it. <laughs> can get a, uh, a bird's eye view of what what the problems are. <laughs> and the thing that I noticed was this isn't dark enough here, so we'll darken this bit here. Because then it kind of uh, this darkness creates the um, separation between the background water and the and this foreground water. It's interesting how that's happened really. Hmm, okay. Gonna get a little bit more of this blue mm, a little bit of blue and black. I just wanna pull those bits out. Okay. Okay. Um quite liking that. That gives me a good start. Now as that's drying we can uh, think about what our next move is. So I think we should put in all the darks now. I'm going to use a smaller brush. <laughs> so I'm, I'm, I don't use very many brushes to be honest. I Actually I can fill that main bit in with this brush. The brush that I use the most, this um, half graduate brush, half graduate brush. It's a good, good little brush, good all rounder, flat as well. I tend to use flats. I can I do sometimes use round brushes as well, but I think I use flats quite a lot. Gonna put some uh, blue on. <laughs> some of my uh, art toys are falling over. I call them art toys. <laughs> I might do a video on them actually. Um, the different things that I use to practice. So I'm gonna get some black and blue. Not too much water though, so it's more, more of a uh, opaque colour now. And uh, I'm gonna start putting this, this on. <laughs> oh, where do you start? Where do you start? I hope it doesn't mess it up. It's okay. It's okay. You gave that speech. You said it you, doesn't matter, you can fix it. I need a bit more blue in this. Actually, the blue has made it look a little bit like... It's got a little bit of a dark kind of Prussian blue look. This, and it's ultramarine blue and black. I'm gonna turn the page now. Because I need to uh, bring it towards me a little bit. I was saying, changing your angle of the uh, 
painting, turning it around is is really good. It really does help. It's a top tip. It's actually a pro tip. <laughs> but it's not from a pro, it's just from me. <laughs> pro tip from me. Pro tip from a beginner. Because I consider myself a beginner. No, um, recently, someone was, uh, <laughs> the best way I can describe it was laying into one of my paintings. <laughs> And uh, and I thought to myself, do they know that I'm not a professional? Do they know that I'm just trying to get better? And even when I become like a professional, because I think I will. <laughs> I think I've got, even if it takes me another 10 years, because I ain't going to stop. So I think, well, Sure, you know, even if I was doing my own gallery shows and turned pro, it's going to happen. That's what I tell myself. So yeah, and I was thinking, well, there's no need to lay into someone's painting. You can crit critique and give helpful criticise, well, not, not criticise, a helpful critique as in Oh, that looks really great. Maybe you could work a little bit more on your brush strokes or, you know, something you can go on. The worst critique that I've ever had was, well, I've had a few actually. But the worst one is when you get nothing. When all you get is, oh, that's not your best work. You can do better. It's about as helpful as... Uh, one of these brushes without the bristles on the end. <laughs> I'm talking too much. I need to get painting. I hope you're enjoying these episodes. The reason I wanted to switch, I know some people would rather I was still doing Bob Ross technique. And, uh,. I enjoyed doing that technique. If I had all the gear set up, I would still enjoy it actually. Because <laughs> it's good fun, isn't it? Who doesn't want to paint like that? It's great fun knocking out paintings like that. But this way, I can take things a bit further. I've got. Um, a bit more control of the equipment because I can wait for it to dry and work on it a bit more and things. There's a bit more uh, a bit more flexibility here with this gear than there is with that, but <laughs> a top painter I mean look at what Bob Ross does you could do it Anyway, <laughs> but I need I need a bit more, a bit more time. I think I've taken that a bit too far. Should really have stopped there. Um, let's use a bit of water, get a bit of this blue, a bit of this red, a bit of water, so if that can get rid of it. <laughs> Damn, I made that mistake that I was saying I wasn't worried about. Now it's messed my whole painting up, I'm gonna have to start again. <laughs> <laughs> now hopefully we, we don't know it so. After my speech as well, damn it. 
Oh, I'm looking at this. Something's wrong. I think this goes in more. Uh, yeah, I think that was it. I didn't quite meet the uh, my requirements. <laughs> See that? Just tapping, tappy tap, tap, tappy tap. Turning, turning the page. So I want to get this top part. Okay, it's coming along, isn't it? it looks, looks boaty. Just checking the uh, camera's in focus. I think it is. <laughs> I hope it is. <laughs> right, now what we're doing, we need to do that back area of the boat, which is really dark. So we'll continue using this dark. I want a little bit of red in it, using the dark. about there. Brush switch. I'm gonna go dark red for that background. The background when I why well, I say background I mean the window. And then it's got on here as well. And then it goes back like that. Something like that. I could do with that window being a bit bigger. <laughs> Just make that a little bit more like that. A little bit more of a movement. Uh, that one wants to be there, that one wants to be there. Okay. Well, it's better. It's better. Got quite a, the window, the water in the window is quite dull. Dull. I feel like I want to peek the window. So I've got a bit of an issue that I've uh, blacked in too much. But if I opaque my colour a bit... I should get away with it. Let's have a look at this. It's not quite dark enough. Move that'll do. So it will darken a little bit more.
Just got a bad dog. Do that uh, window as well. That's better. That's better. I prefer that. Got that rounded bit there. Now. I like that actually. I'm just gonna get a bit of that dark too. Kinda lost some of my uh my angle. <laughs> this boat has got a little bit of a longer window as well. But it doesn't matter. <laughs> I still quite like it actually. If he was doing a commission for someone's boat, then I would suggest getting the ruler out and do it exact. Because there's nothing worse than doing a commission and then... And they say, well that's not my boat, doesn't look anything like it. Oh, that angle. <laughs> Imagine a box, imagine a box. Not bad actually. That's not bad, I don't mind that. Um, so... I think what would be nice if we start doing this reddish colour here and there and then we can start doing the lighter bits as well so there's a nice kind of a burnt sienna look uh, we'll get some some of this <laughs> some reds can you see that? I'm making like a red, dirty red. <laughs> Might get a bit of yellow ochre in it. And we'll see how that looks. Let me put that on. Probably a bit light, yeah. Something you can do, um, you can always test your colour off the page and have a look at it, or have a spare page near you to test it. Works well, that does. So we've got this rusty, rusty colour. We're going to start painting it in. And then what I think I'll do is I'll paint in the rusty colour first. And then I can bring out some of the highlights afterwards should work quite well. It's even like spilled over the window here. <laughs> you can see it all gunk. This window's not been cleaned in a while. Looks a bit like my car. <laughs> I'm thinking of doing a painting of my car soon. Not on my car, of my car. Do a little uh, painting, little sketch or something. I might do a YouTube video on it. 
something I've wanted to do for a while. I don't drive a very nice car, I have to say. So it would be like a uh, painting of a banger. <laughs> no, it's been a, it's been a great car for me. I didn't pay that much for it, and I needed a car because mine uh, failed miserably on its MOT, really bad. And uh, I needed a car desperately, and I saw it on the side of the road. I was like, oh yes. Perfect. Just what I needed. And I've had it for f five, five years maybe. Which is pretty amazing, considering. So I'm just doing this rusty colour all along here and there's Needs to be a bit there as well. A rusty bit there. Might put some there. Okay. Just rust, rusty colours. Here is there, here and there. There as well. Uh-huh. Hmm, I quite like that. There's a few, like, poles. I'm going to use a lighter version of this rust <laughs> as well. So we've got a pole there. Maybe we'll use this lighter version just to... Do this bit first, and then we'll think about these poles. So there's a light bit catching there. there. Using quite a dry, dry paint, so it breaks a little bit. Oops. Bit of an error there. I'll have to turn it round. <laughs> Bring it towards me. Quite light pressure over that bit, just to really make it break. Go into a little bit more white, make a lighter, lighter colour for this bit here. It's a little bit of a sticker there, so I'll just put this white. Just to signify that. <laughs> Wet my finger, get rid of some of it. There we go. And this bit here, a bit more light along there, and there as well. A bit there as well. Okay. Bit here goes quite a light there. So if you're using water with your gouache, when you use your a bit a bit of water, it will dry a little bit lighter. I mean, darker. <laughs> lights dry yeah your lights dry darker and your darks dry lighter when you're using a bit of water in with your colour that is there's a bit of a white area there 
Mm -hmm. This is a little lighter here as well, so we'll do that. Maybe a little there. Um, bit more of a colour. This is a bit of a white area there as well. And then it gets really red underneath. I think we could do a bit of that rust along here. Maybe some lighter blobs along there as well. Just so it's not all the same. All these little accents. I want that darker. And I've got this really nice red as well that I want to stop putting in. <laughs> I'm actually trying to rein myself back because I really want to start throwing colour at this. <laughs> it's starting to get fun and exciting. And then that's when I start wanting to chuck colour on. And I'm holding back because I know what I, I'm like, because I can start putting too much on. So I want to have a bit more of this effect. A bit more of this rusty. This could be a, a scene out of The Walking Dead. <laughs> or an old rusty boat that they find. <laughs> That's been moored for years. <laughs> okay, I want to uh, do that bit at the bottom now. So, what I want, so I want some of this red, probably this yellow. Red. Red, red, red. Hmm, we just gotta have to try it. We need a bit of this. I think this is burnt sienna. That's probably all right. Let's try it. So I'm going to put this along here. Okay, that does look quite good actually, and I can use some of that in this now. You see what I mean? I needed to rein myself back because I'll start chucking all this stronger colour out there. If you hold yourself back long enough. <laughs> And when you put it in, it tends to look all the sweeter. So, just washed my brush and I realized I could get some of this in the water. Some of it is reflecting in. And then I need some black, really dark. 
cooler for underneath that boat because there's no light getting underneath there. as well. This is where it looks a bit too wide so I'm going to do that just to fake it a bit. <laughs> uh, this goes to all of that. Okay, starting to get a boat appearing. Yeah, yeah, that's looking all right. Uh, there's a boy I could do with painting that. Let's paint that boy in there. Even so red. <laughs> See how I just dance my brush all over the place. Try and pick some colour up that I think I need. So let's get some red. So the boy is about here. I have to watch, I don't do it too big. There's another one there. A smaller one. It looks amazing that the way the light is hitting that boy. It's kind of got a little sort of a transparent -y look to it. I might be able to uh, do something. Get some yellow and white, that's what I'm going to do. And while it's still a little bit wet. Have a go at lighting it up a bit. and then it's got a really, really dark underside to it. Okay, now what I'm tempted to do while we're doing this, I think I'm going to switch brushes. Look at getting a bit of a reflection going, get a nice uh, Something like that. Take that a bit 
further. And then we could do with this reflecting as well, actually. Could do with this light area reflecting. So we'll put a bit of uh, Wash my brush. Bit of this red. Get a reflection of that in there. Some sort of lighter bits on this boat, so I'm gonna uh, have a look at reflecting that as well. Okay. Okay. Now um, we could do some uh, bits of detail now on the boat. So I'll use, I think I'll use my liner. Got my nice liner brush. What is it? A uh, triple one, oh, number three Cotman brush. I'm going to get some white and red. Maybe some burnt sienna. <laughs> Burn sienna, red and white. So I need to put in these little details. There's a, a pommel here. about the this rusty looking actually <laughs> oh, load my brush let's go for it bravery so we've got a line that goes It's actually a little bit taller than that, but I'm just going to leave it that length. Go for that one there. There's a, there's a bit of a light in here. I'll put that in while we're doing this. There's another thing there. Don't know what it is. Uh, and then there's this line here. Hmm. We need a bit more water. <laughs> I'll just put a pole in here. <laughs> uh, I'll be going off the page. Uh, off the page. 
There's a bit of a cross on it. This is coming out of the page. I need some white. A bit of white. Just do uh, change some of that lighting. On the pole. I can, uh, I can once again start making things a bit different again. Okay. Now there's this. There's a rusty, uh, <laughs> a rusty old. an old rope there, put that in. So th this painting is something I really wanted to do, to practice. So this is really me, a video of me practicing. And it ain't perfect, but it's fun. <laughs> I'm enjoying myself. So I need, oh yeah, there's a hook on that as well. So I might as well put that in. I'm getting a bit of light, even though there isn't any light on this, just to make it more metal. And just put little bits of light on it. Um, we need to do these poles now. There's some poles. Um, probably a bluey, bluey, blacky colour I've gone for. So there's a pole. I need to get some orange on it as well, looking at it. But we'll do this first. So the pole kind of... There. That's in line. It's kind of in line with the roof. Oh, there. And that goes... I have to watch myself now, because I don't want to... Mm, this is a bit... I think this whole boat top part needs to go. <laughs> <laughs> oh, damn. Should have used my roller. I've got to be honest, I don't really know where it is. Oops. So that needs to go there. Just quickly wash that away. You might still see it. Never mind. And then that bar goes. And there's another one that goes. Okay, and now I think I'll put that light on that bar. There's a bit of a, a bit of light on this bar. Okay, and there's I don't know what that is. There's something here. Some sort of red thing. Of a cable. A 
My red bit there. Okay, there's this, there's this light there, and there's that there as well. Okay, let's just sit up and have a look. Sitting up and having a look. There's something there, some sort of light, I don't know what that is. We'll just, uh, Put a little bit of colour in and indicate it. <laughs> yeah, does that need something on the back of it like that? It probably does need dulling. Okay, gonna uh, I'm gonna look at the picture. There's like these red areas that kind of more red. Gonna go down. My finger to just pull them sideways. Yeah. It gets quite dark at the front as well, so I might get a little bit of this Throw that in Just move it around a bit Definitely need to uh, darken this shadow area. I mean, <laughs> shadow. Oops. Reflection. Just darken this reflection. to uh, really try and get this line. Okay. <laughs> we have a bit of a, uh, a boat painting. This bit goes shoop. I think we'll leave it like this. Something I want to do, I think, could looks like 
just want to put some little um, watery uh, marks. This is where you've got to kind of look at your painting and think about how you want it to look rather than how the photo is or quite like that. It's been a good little painting, good little bit of fun. There we go. I think I'll leave it at that <laughs> at this point. But this just gives you an idea of uh, <laughs> of what it's like watching me practice. <laughs> this is uh, to what I'm doing quite a lot: practicing my painting, doing painting after painting, and uh, enjoying myself really, because that's what you want to be doing: enjoying it. So thanks very much for watching this painting, this episode, and uh, I'll see you at another one. Cheers, bye.